Hello again gamers, welcome back to the Board Game Captain. I'm the Captain, and today I'm going to be reviewing and talking about this role-playing game product for Pathfinder 2nd Edition. It is the Pathfinder Potions and Talismans deck. So uh, this is a product from Paizo, and I want to give a big thank you to Paizo for sending me this product to check out and review and film some content with. Thank you, Paizo. And before I get started, I do want to say I've got a ton of links in the description down below that you can check out at your leisure. There's a link to BoardGameCaptain.com, which is a great hub for all things Board Game Captain. And Lynn and I have started doing some semi-regular blog posts over there. There's also a link to my Patreon. If you're in a position to and like to support the channel, head over to my Patreon. Link in the description down below. And there's a link to my Teespring store where you can get yourself some cool Board Game Captain merch, some cool gamer gear. Link in the description down below for t-shirts, mugs, etc. Okay, so I want to start by reading the back of the box of this product to you. This is... A trove of trinkets. Every hero relies on a few extra resources to get through a day of dangerous adventuring. A restorative potion, special arrows, an extra scroll, or the perfect talisman. The Pathfinder Potions and Talismans deck contains cards detailing every consumable magic item in the Pathfinder Core rulebook, including ammunitions, oils, potions, scrolls, talismans, and more. Each card features statistics, descriptions, and beautiful full-color illustrations. Keep your must-have items close at hand. So this contains exactly what, what you're expecting. This is uh, a st two stacks of cards, not just one, two stacks of cards here. Uh, the first card is, a, they have, uh, of course, you know, they always have the licensing agreement card in any of these card sets, and they have an instruction card, which says the Pathfinder Potion and Talisman deck includes one card for each consumable item from the crafting and treasure chapter of the Pathfinder Core rulebook. Multiple cards are provided for healing potions and scrolls, uh, the for the healing potions that's appreciated because you know you, you it's good to have a, some of those out all over the table uh, since those items appear frequently in play the full rules for the magical items begin on page 531 of the core rule book consumable items can be used only once after which their magic is spent specific rules yada 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 uh, you know more references to the rules talks about the ammunition the oils uh, potion, talisman, base, some basic rules and references to where to find the full rules for all these items in the book. So what is this? So what this is, is exactly what it sounds like. It is stacks of cards. And on one side of the card, I'm going to pick one with a, with a cool illustration because I'm a big fan of, of lots of these illustrations here. But on one side of the card, you have the item. So for instance, here is the owl bear claw, item one. And then on the back, you have an illustration. Every item has an illustration. And again, there are some uh, multiples in regard to, to items that get used a lot. Like for instance, healing potions, there's a ton of in here. One thing I, I got a kick out of is, is with the scrolls, uh, when you get to the scrolls, there are a ton for scrolls and they have a ton of different illustrations on them uh, for all different sorts of scrolls. It just keeps going for each scroll one. Uh, I did get a kick that they, out of the fact that they did multiple illustrations for the scrolls. Um, and even though they could have gotten away with some generic potion uh, illustrations, each potion is significantly different too, depending on what it does. They have lots of great potion illustrations. Here, let me show a different one just to show you what I mean about all the variety. Again, I'm going to be showing some pictures up on screen. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is a really, really cool set of cards for um, being able to quickly reference these things. If your players pick one of these up during a game, you can just have the card behind your game master screen and you can be like your, your players pick up the potion of resistance. And instead of them having to say, Oh, well, what is the potion of resistance doing? And you having to find it in the rule book and tell them jot down some shorthand of it. You can just toss them the potion of resistance card. And now they've got this in front of them and they can hold on to it until they use it. And then they'll return it to you. And I like that. Uh, getting to have all of these at hand for quick reference and easy use, especially if you plan them out ahead of time and then let your players hold on to them as long as they're not going to lose them or keep them for them between games and just keep them, you know, uh, with the other things you're using that are going to be continually used between games is really great. And it makes for really great, easy reference. And again, I'm a huge fan of the illustrations. 
I love that they did illustrations on the backs of all of these. Is this product necessary? No. This is not necessary to play the game. Uh, all of these are things that are referenced in the book in a... Uh, in the same way as most of the card products for Pathfinder, you're, you could simply have your players write down shorthand on their on their scrap paper or their sheets what it is that they have picked up and what each of these things do, and that is not a problem, generally speaking, though it does slow down the game. And what, the, what this tool is for is for speeding up the game, to make uh, the, the giving of this information quicker. Just hand them a card. Uh, also, for uh, without having to write, not, they don't have to write down the shorthand anymore. They've got the card in front of them. It's got all the rules on it. And also, they don't have to use shorthand. They don't have to write down shorthand. Instead, they just have the, all the rules for the particular item uh, on the card in front of them. Except uh, the scrolls don't actually have the full rules of a specific spell for that scroll. You would still need the rules for the spell. They just have the rules in general for making and using scrolls of various levels. So yeah, so the, I, I am quite positive on this. Uh, the price is pretty reasonable at $22.99, so $23 for the stack of cards. It contains an absolute ton. If you if you see here, there's two decks full of cards, absolute ton of cards. And again, I love and I respect the fact that they did an illustration for every item. I love the illustrations, and I love that they did all the illustrations. So I am going to give the Pathfinder Potions and Talismans deck, a 7.5 star rating out of 10. I really like this. Uh, again, not this is not necessary for the game, but if you're playing and you're finding it a pain in the butt every time your, your players have to write down what a potion does, or as I have found often later, after they've written it down, you say, they look at it and they go, I can't read what I wrote. What does this potion do again? Uh, th these are great for fixing those issues and helping to speed up gameplay and not have those horrible moments that really drag down gameplay. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns on the Pathfinder Potion and Talismans deck, feel free to put them in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this review of a role-playing game product and you'd like to see me do more like it, be sure to give this video a like, share it on all forms of social media, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to The Board Game Captain. That's Captain spelled with a K on YouTube. And until next time, game on. Hi. We doing more puppy bloopers? We got lots of videos, huh? So you want to get a puppy blooper in, in almost every video? I think this is now two out of three of the videos we've shot today that you've managed to get a puppy blooper in. Yeah. Oh, do you hear mommy upstairs? Go get mommy. Go get mommy. <laughs>